Okay guys, so please excuse crust because I just came back from the gym and from grocery shopping and I took my braids out. So we have a situation going on. I came to do a Trader Joe's haul. Um, I recently went to Trader Joe's <laughs> And I got 10 things for $27.74. Things that I got in here are pretty much things that I'd eat, you know, semi-often or at least, you know, like for breakfast, lunch, dinner. The shine that you see on the side of my lips is not spit. It's simply lip gloss. I overline my lips too much. I don't know what my problem is. Just quick things. Nothing too, you know, difficult. Um, so yeah. Here are just a few things that I like to get at Trader Joe's just to help me get through the week so I don't have to go out and spend my money. Hmm. First thing that we got is some miso instant ramen soup. All right, we got some egg salad, you know, I usually put this on some bread, some whole wheat bread, put some lettuce, tomato, call it a day. Some tempura chicken. Um, I usually just put that with some rice, you know, call it a day. Blueberry waffles. Shredded potato hash browns. These go well for breakfast. I'll pair that with the waffles. Organic mango. I love mango in my smoothies. I generally have a smoothie every breakfast. Black bean and corn enchilada. They're vegan really good they're surprisingly really tasty i don't know what's being done with these someone i think i read somewhere that things like these are usually made by amy's if y'all know amy's like those organic frozen meals i think trader joe's uses them for some of these foods so makes sense to me this is something new that i got i'm always loving to find new things at trader joe's this is a unsweetened almond cashew and macadamia nut beverage so i don't know if you guys know but <laughs> almond milk is not <laughs> keeping the earth funky funky fresh you know we're having a almond crisis in the world and apparently to help preserve the earth we're not supposed to be drinking almond milk anymore <laughs> so i ended up trying i wanted to try something we recently got oat milk the kind that we got, I don't, I'm not, it's watery and so I wanted to try something a little thicker. Maybe this will be for my preference, so we'll see. I use these for my smoothies. Um, it helps to make them more creamier. We'll see how this works. I got some whole wheat spaghetti noodles because I usually like to just make well, my boyfriend buys these <laughs> meatless crumbles that I can like, well, he usually does a good job at cooking them, but for this point, I mean, for this, we'll just, you know, make spaghetti and then put like the fake meat crumbles and some vegetables and have some pasta. And last but not least is this chicken tiki masala. Y'all, Trader Joe's and their Indian uh, line of foods. Uh. <laughs> They're so tasty. Fun fact, chicken tikka masala isn't even, like, it's not even an authentic Indian meal. It was created in Britain, but you know, it wasn't originated in India. So, I mean, it's still good, it still slaps. It kind of just tastes like butter chicken, but I think the rice is seasoned as well, which is, you know, to me. Those are all the foods that I buy from, well not all of them, these are the ones that I just bought that typically help get me through the week. Um, I don't really like to do snacks because their snacks make me fat and I don't want to be fat. Um, I'm trying to be <laughs> fit. Yeah guys, you know in the comment below, comment your favorite item from Trader Joe's and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to me. So you can see more of my face, my crust ridden face. But yeah guys, talk to you later. Bye.